I understand. But you know a lot of folks want you to run. You know, that's, uh, that's part of this, and I realize that you can, you can draw your own conjecture from it, uh, but I'm, like I say, I'm not, uh, I'm not talking about that. When will you start to make decisions about, on that front? Well, talking about the issues and, you know, uh, is what I'm saying resonating, and uh, I, I gotta tell you, you know, I live in Taos, New Mexico, uh, skiing is my passion, and, uh, I kind of been looking for my exit visa since I started this, meaning, you know, tell me that what I'm saying is irrelevant, and not, I, I haven't found my ticket back. Now, let me get your view on how you see the establishment trying to block this constitutional populist awakening. They call anybody that doesn't want to have carbon taxes or open borders or government-run health care a racist. That isn't working. People see right through that uh, kind of limousine liberal divide and conquer but I do see the ace in the hole being the 20 to 30 million illegal aliens who they're trying to legalize, trying to make Democratic voters. And you've got Obama's aunt, I don't know if you've seen the TV interview from two days ago, you're on the road, saying, yeah, I'm an illegal alien and I'm owed the three welfare checks I get. And America owes us this. I mean, so I basically, you've got 50 plus percent of people either on the government dole or government contracts. So even if we wake up to all of this, what do we do about everybody who's dependent on government and the giant armies of illegal aliens that have been turned into a political weapon who are so angry at this country, they demand that school children not wear American flag T-shirts in San Francisco? Well, uh, there, there needs to be immigration reform. And I, I'd like to think that as a border governor, um, I really do understand these issues. And, uh, you know, there were a couple of other border governors that I think really understood uh, immigration and what needed to to take place. One of them was Ronald Reagan. Uh, the other one was George Bush. I think George Bush was right on when it came to immigration. And pointing out something that I think is really important, Alex, is is that all the talk about uh, George Bush talking about amnesty, what I talk about is a grace period uh, for the, the illegals that are here currently. All I'm talking about is a work visa, uh, not citizenship. Citizenship is complete, and, and this was George Bush, too. Uh, amnesty was not citizenship, never has But been, here's the problem. Been. Every time we actually got the bill, it was amnesty, not the guest worker visa. Well, and I, I'm not aware of that. I'll, I'll take your word for that. If that was the case, then, uh, then to me, uh, it, it should have died. In, in my opinion, citizenship needs to be completely disconnected. And back to, back to citizenship, that needs to be part of immigration reform. Part of immigration reform needs to be, look, this needs to be about work, not welfare. And, that's, and then let's look at ourselves. Are, are, are uh, immigrants taking uh, jobs that Americans uh, want or need? No way, because Americans can sit at home and collect welfare and uh, not go and get entry-level jobs because staying at home gives them almost as much money uh, as going out and actually having to work. That's something that we now need to fix within our own. Uh, we need to look within uh, for that, and that needs to be remedied. Well, Governor, I agree with you that if we slash welfare and this culture of dependency, then we could have higher levels of immigration. But it's not just the citizens getting on welfare, as you know. Let me play a short clip uh, out of uh, Boston two days ago. And they admit she's an illegal alien, everything, but she wants it all free. She wants it now. Here it is. Yango lives in South Boston in public housing. She's unemployed. She collects disability. And assisting her nephew never pulled any strings for her. Recently, she sat down for an exclusive interview with Jonathan Elias. And Jonathan, she's not making any apologies. Jack, she makes none. In fact, she's very fiery. The mention of her name makes many in Boston angry. Angry because she is living off of a system that she's never paid into. Angry because she is from a family that is now very wealthy, yet she remains a burden to Massachusetts taxpayers. If I come as an immigrant, you have the obligation to make me a citizen. This is President Obama's aunt, a okay, woman many enough. say is the poster child of our bro- She goes on to admit she's illegal, but she says we have to pay for everything for her. 
And, you know, Gary, my, my taxes are going up. My bills are going up. You know, I may have to lay some people off around here but so she can sit there on her fat butt. Well, uh, and that's what needs to be reformed, Alex. That is a problem, and that needs to be uh, addressed. Let me just uh, let me just point out that this country's always been about immigration, legal immigration, legal immigration, good thing. Let me just point out that uh, we're, we are educating Indian engineers, for example, in this country. We're educating them. They would love to stay in this country. And I'm not talking about now citizenship. Uh, I'm just talking about they'd love to stay in this country and work. But because of government rules, we're sending back literally hundreds of Indian um uh, engineers that are starting up companies in India that could have been started here. So this has always been about a country of immigrants. This has always been a country about always being at the cutting edge of, of uh, technology, uh, of science, uh, of entrepreneurship, but we're, we're exporting that by choice. So there's the other side also of opportunities that the government is... is uh, is letting go of. No, I agree with you, and it's the welfare equation that wasn't here a hundred years ago when so many were coming from all over the world. That's the uh, problem. Now, shifting gears into another subject with you, you probably heard about the MIAC and Homeland Security reports where we learn that almost all of the anti-terror training and funding is really focused on the American people. Second Amendment groups, anti-war groups, Ron Paul, Chuck Baldwin, Bob Barr. We were sent that by law enforcement. There's now a big scandal uh, in uh, Pittsburgh and surrounding areas where it turns out that an Israeli company and, and others were being given hundreds of thousands of dollars to spy and to literally list mainline Tea Party groups and Second Amendment groups as potential terrorists. And now the head of the state's homeland security is literally hiding out for two weeks. I mean, that is really creepy. Uh, what's your view on how this whole apparatus of the military-industrial complex is more and more being focused on the American people? Naked body scanners at the airports, all of that. What's your view on that, Governor? Well, it's just, it's just an overriding notion that the government is overstepping its bounds. Uh, I, I, I don't feel any safer. Um, I, I feel it's one of the great indignities that we subject ourselves to now is to go through air airport security again with, with, uh, with, with the fact that it's, it's just not any safer. So our civil liberties continue to be uh, eroded. Uh, I think it started with the war on drugs, and now, uh, in the name of terror, uh, we're giving up more and more of what sh we should be fighting for. Absolutely, but but every time I hear other Republicans, they just say we need more homeland security, we need more, more, more. Meanwhile, quietly, it's really set up for the American people to politically suppress us. I I think that uh, that. What you what you're saying right there, along with uh, with uh, our foreign policy, that um, I don't think any question uh, uh, has us in a position of creating more enemies than than friends. And it's just uh, it's opposite uh, opposite things happening uh, that, that should be occurring. Final segment with Governor Gary E. Johnson. Straight ahead on the other side, the website is ouramericainitiative.com. I'm Alex Jones with prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. A few final key questions on the other side. Search term for the day, we want to make it number one, save his presidency. And when you search those three words, save his presidency, it will lead the people that see it as the number one search term by you searching it. Two, will Obama force America to absorb a terror attack to save his presidency? Because that's what they're talking about. Robert Shapiro uh, told the Financial Times of London, the bottom line here is that Americans don't believe in Obama's leadership. Said Shapiro, he has to find some way of, uh, between now and November, of demonstrating that he is a leader who can command confidence and short of 9-11 event or Oklahoma City bombing, I can't think of how he could do that. Uh, what does that sound like to you, uh, Governor? Pretty creepy. You're pretty creepy. Uh, you, you know, that, that's the word. Boy, we sure know how they could use crises, and they sure want that new Iran war. I hope that doesn't happen. In 60 seconds, what's your view on Iran? You know, uh, uh, similar to Iraq, uh, we need to be vigilant uh, to, uh, 
to them rolling out any weapons of mass destruction. Uh, to my knowledge, that's a long ways off. And let's not forget uh, Israel and the fact that uh, Israel is a huge deterrent in the area with uh, a kind of a well-kept secret that they've got 300 nuclear warheads uh, in Israel. So uh, um, that, would, that would summarize it, I think. Uh, lastly, we were talking during the break, you said education was important. They're now admitting that most people getting degrees can't even get a job, and they're calling it the education bubble. What's your view on higher education in this country? Well, uh, you know, regarding education in this country, someone asked me the other day, uh, uh, certainly, Governor, you're talking about uh, reducing, uh, you're talking about reducing uh, government expenditures by 43%. You can't be talking about education. And I said, well, actually, when it comes to education, I would propose the federal government uh, that 100 percent of that be eliminated. And when you talk about the Federal Department of Education, which was uh, which was uh, established in 1979, uh, it gives about 11 cents out of every dollar that every state spends uh, in education. But it comes with 16 cents worth of strings attached. So it's really a negative to take federal money when it comes to uh, education. Uh, return education to the state. Uh, 50 laboratories of innovation constitutionally, the way that this country was set up, 50 states genuinely embarked on a process of best practice. Uh, education advances uh, does better by simply getting it out of the federal government completely. Why, why does somehow we believe that the federal government uh, can dictate to the states how best to uh, implement... Well, that's education. like Texas, uh, $4.6 in stimulus money, and for every job around $30,000 a year, it costs $97,000 per job. I mean, that is incredible. For every government job that's created, well, that costs two private sector jobs. This is killing us. This is killing us. This is... Uh Look, uh, create confidence in the economy, confidence in the economy, people's 401, uh, markets rise. Uh, markets go up, people uh, get confident, they buy things. When people buy things, um, you know what, uh, businesses add uh, employees for the added demand of their goods and services. But it doesn't let select corporations that, that are buddies with the government create vertical integrated oligopolies so they don't like it. Former uh, New Mexico Governor Gary E. Johnson, the website is uh, the American Initiative. In fact, give out that full URL. It's ouramericaninitiative.com, uh, correct? OurAmericaInitiative.com. I'd love for those listening to get online. Tell me what they think. Alex, great being on. Thank you. You bet. Talk to you again soon, Gov. Good to have you on. We're out of time. Don't forget the search term. Let's make it number one. Save his presidency. Search it right now. Great job, crew.